Hello viewers, welcome to Math Motivators Minds YouTube channel. Hello viewers, welcome to Math Motivators Minds YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about geometric mean. So geometric mean is the set of n observations. That is the nth root of their product. So thus, geometric mean of the g of n observations xi. i varies from 1 to n is given by g is equal to x1, the product of x1, x2, x3 and so on, xn, the whole power 1 by n. So this is first equation. So now what you have to do, taking logarithm on both sides. If you take uh, log on both sides, it becomes g becomes log g which is equal to 1 by n into log of x1 a into x2 log of a into b which is we, uh, we have to apply that formula that is log a plus log b log c so likewise you can write 1 by n uh, log of uh, x1 into x2 into and so on xn we can write it as log x1 plus log x2 plus and so on log xn so what we have to do which is equal to 1 by n summation of i varies from 1 to n log of xi Again, what you have to do, g is equal to anti log of 1 by n, summation of i varies from 1 to n, log of xi. So, this is equation 2. So, in case of the frequency distribution, that is xi divided by fi, where i varies from 1 to n, there is geometric mean, that is g is n and k. So, g is equal to x1 power f1, x2 power f2 and so on, xn power fn, the whole to the power of 1 by n where n is equal to summation of i varies from 1 to n fi. Taking logarithms of the both sides, we get log g which is equal to 1 by n, f1 log x1 plus f2 log x2 and so on, fn log xn which is equal to, we can write 1 by n summation of i varies from 1 to n fi log xi. So, this is equation number 4. Thus, what we have to find? we find that the logarithm of geometric mean is the arithmetic mean of the logarithm of the given values from 4. So, then I am logarithm of geometric mean of the equal arithmetic arithmetic mean of the logarithm of the given values ki equal arithmetic from 4th equation. Now, I am telling you g is equal to anti log of 1 by n summation of i varies from 1 to n f i log x log x okay well. so in the case of grouped or continuous frequency distribution x is take to be the value corresponding to the midpoint of the class interval so midpoint of the class interval thanks for watching this video have a nice day